Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Uh, today I will show you how to use JavaScript in master page. So I have a master page uh, uh, and I want to uh, inherit the web form from the master page. And in the inherited uh, web form, I will use the JavaScript in content plus holder. Okay. So uh, that is the uh, content plus holder uh, of the body section that is content to uh, the ID of the content plus holder. So um, here I will use JavaScript. Okay. Yeah, uh, actually. Uh, please use the JavaScript code uh, at the last um, at the last moment of uh, your content or you can say at the last positions of uh, uh, your text okay um, so in which we have a single text box single label control and a single button control uh, when we click on the button the uh, the JavaScript get the value from the text box and print the value on the label so uh, simple generate a function on the button click that is get value and um, apply the script method in the last here that is the script type equals to text oblique javascript Mm, create a function that is get value uh, similar uh, the or you can say the function body of the get value function variable uh, create a variable and a, in which we can take the value of uh, text box one so here we text box is a variable name uh, get the ID uh, get the value of the text box by using the document got dot get element by ID property here we use text box one okay and the uh, label is LBL document dot get element by ID similarly provide the ID of the label if uh, your content plus holder run under the server tags then uh, do not use uh, this types of method because uh, in the source page uh, we have a different types of client IDs provided uh, check it uh, if you uh, if you can take uh, just after the uh, content plus holder uh, or you can say uh, outside the content plus holder that method is correct but uh, uh, this method is not correct in content plus holder okay so symbol view in browser simple input some text here hello and get label text box text is null and label text is also null okay so remove this and edit the text dot well as a value okay and label dot in HTML okay inner HTML property now save this and hello oops getting some error message because if we uh, assign the capital V in place of text box then again check your output is correctly or not hello and get message oops getting some error okay so now 
uh, if you want to get the uh, element uh, which is plus in the content plus holder please use uh, embedded code block with the expression um, you can say embedded code block with the expression textbox one dot client ID okay because uh, in a content plus holder uh, we have got different client IDs for the different controls so use textbox one dot client ID that is the real method through which we can get the uh, uh, value of the uh, control so label one dot client ID okay that is the actual method now refresh it and put some value here hello yeah the text box text is undefined label text is label that is fine now change the text of the text box by using the small value here is capital value so small value and save this and refresh it again uh, take some value like hello and that is text box text is hello label text is label so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial keep watching my all other video tutorials thank you thank you very much